checkpoints. And in these checkpoints, I actually built these as status boards. So I'm just going to click over here to our checkpoints real fast. And then as Brilliant. I started putting those in, we color coded them so you can see the difference between manned and unmanned, just at a glimpse. Mm -hmm. And when you go inside the, the checklist, we just created it as a status board. I put it, whether it's the Ohio State Highway Patrol that was doing it, if it was a highway department, like if they dropped a sign, uh, if it was local law enforcement, if it was an area. Uh, we also have a state park called uh, Cowan Lake. So we have the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. They have law enforcement as well as the Ohio Department of Transportation. So we just essentially identified what it was or who owns the checkpoint. And then we can see what colors they were. And then that way when we went to the map and we're looking around and we see all these checkpoints and we just got the little symbol that has the X so we know it's a checkpoint. We're able to see which ones are manned and which ones are not manned. That way, if there's a shift because of the winds or if we see a forecasted shift, we'll know which one of these checkpoints we'll need to move out and which ones we'll need to relocate, uh, dealing with the manned ones first and then which ones we'll have to coordinate with some other sector. So this is... This is real handy for this. Mm. Could and you then, cover for people? How, how are you making them amber or green? Um, well, what was the drop down doing that? So if I went down to the checkpoints themselves, uh, all it was is just identifying about whether it was man or, or unmanned. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, and that was just a, a quick way of being able to identify that. 